could cut your drive to work in half that time, in half. That's exactly what one man has been doing. Yeah, but it's how he was doing it that put him on our radar. The video you just have to see from CBS2 investigator Scott Weinberger. You see it all over the city. An unmarked car, emergency lights flashing, trying to make it through traffic. Have you ever wondered while you're sitting in gridlock what the emergency was? A thought from drivers who on any given day deal with some of the worst traffic in the country. Average commute time, 90 minutes. This guy must be headed to a serious emergency. Or is he? I'm Scott Weinberger from Channel 2. Can you tell me what emergency you're responding to now? Excuse me? What emergency are you responding to? His name is Isaac Heschel, and this official-looking black Crown Vic is his personal car. The lights and sirens he admits he paid someone to install. Heschel is a rabbi who volunteers his time as a chaplain to the MTA and the Port Authority Police, but both agencies say Heschel has no right to have the emergency lights or drive like this. Why do you have lights and sirens in your car? There's reasons for that, sir. We first learned of Rabbi Heschel's unusual driving habits from this home video sent to CBS2 by a member of law enforcement who wants to remain anonymous. And with that tape, a note was claimed Heschel was putting pedestrians and other drivers in danger. We had to see for ourselves. So on the ground and in the air, we followed Heschel for days. And look what we found. At crosswalks, lights and sirens to move pedestrians along, and he did it several times. And when traffic was too bad, he drives the wrong way up a street. Remember, he's not a cop. He is not going to an emergency. Heschel is actually a 47th Street diamond dealer with some multifaceted perks. Not only does he get to take the fast lane to work, a sweet, free parking spot was always waiting for him. Heschel avoided tickets by using these official parking placards. Why don't you use the same placard every day? It's just a matter of, you know, uh, there's, reasons. there's reasons for it. Can you tell me what they are? It depends what I'm doing at that day. It was on the way to the Diamond District that day. We saw Heschel's official-looking car use the HOV lane to avoid a major traffic jam on the Prospect Expressway. When lights and sirens aren't enough, not even a tie-up at the Lincoln Tunnel stops our reckless rabbi. The lights flash, he gets out, and actually moves several traffic cones, and then drives past a Port Authority police checkpoint without ever being challenged. What was the necessity for you to use your lights to remove cones to go through a closed entrance in the Lincoln Tunnel? Sir, I don't think that what I do I need to discuss with you. While Heschel seems unconcerned, others were. It goes to show us that uh, we have some vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities from people who may pretend to be official emergency vehicles, and they could be used to be able to transport explosive devices. Once Isaac Heschel realized what our cameras had captured, he changed his tune and said he was sorry. We all make mistakes, and I make mistakes, and when I make a mistake, I apologize, and that's basically what I'm saying to you. Because of his use of lights and sirens, both the MTA and Port Authority Police tell CBS2 they decided to part ways with Rabbi Heschel. Scott Weinberger.